We're here in this KC-135 maintenance hangar, and because of the air show, we caught up with Captain Julie Clark. And Julie, we appreciate you uh, taking time to talk to us. And uh, who do we have here next to you? This is Magneto, my flying dog. She's been flying with me for 12 years, does aerobatics with me, and uh, she's quite the ham. Can, uh, does Magneto have anything to Max? say? Can you talk, Megs? 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Magneto. We appreciate that statement. Julie, I've had the opportunity to see you fly many times at Oshkosh, and it's a real privilege to get to talk to you here today. Um, can you tell us uh, a little bit about how you got started flying, and, um, and I know you're a captain, and tell us uh, a little bit about uh, what you're doing today? Um, well, I've been flying, it's getting to be where I don't like to say, 20, 29 years, and uh, I've been a captain with Northwest now. Well, I've been a flight pilot for Northwest for 20 years, been a captain since 84, and my flying career started in the 60s, and um, I would say my dad was my inspiration. He was an airline pilot and took me on a couple of flights back when I was little, and that definitely was the seed that was planted for my real love of flying. What uh, airplane are you flying for the airlines? I'm a captain on DC-9s, MD-80s for Northwest. Okay. Um, let's start up front uh, on your T-34 here. Uh, this is a remarkable engine compartment. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this, uh, this engine and the gold plating? I'm real proud of this engine. First of all, this is my second Victor engine. And for anyone who knows anything about Continental engines, um, you take it to Victor and he'll Victorize it for you. And in 21 years that I've owned this airplane, I've had uh, six motors and this is um, my second Victor engine like I said only has like about 60 hours on it now and uh, it runs like a sewing machine and you can abuse it and it just keeps right on ticking and we just recently put in some gam ejectors which also make I said how can you make a Victor engine run smoother I don't see how you can but um, with the gam ejectors and Victor's touch uh, it's a blue printed engine which they usually do with cars not airplane engines and uh, it runs smooth it runs smooth you can set a dime up on the uh on the uh, instrument panel and it'll stay right there. Right there. I think you could set a dime right here and it would stay. Oh, right that's there. great. It must be a real privilege to fly this airplane. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about your T-34. It's a T-34 Mentor. Mentor. And you might tell us what all that means. Uh, well, that's a training name that the military used. It was built in the 50s and I've owned it uh, since 1976. And I restored it myself when I first got it. Uh, I bought it sight unseen up in Alaska. It took me four and a half years and all the cosmetic work that you see here was something I did on my own, started in 76 and finished in 81. And uh, this particular airplane was used in the Air Force, so I bought it right from the U.S. Air Force on a uh, government surplus bid, sight unseen, and I got it for $18,000, which a lot of people cringe because it's, uh, they've really gained a lot in value. And the Navy still what, uses What year? What year would this airplane have been built? This was built in 56. Most of them are 54, 55. This is a later model. I kid people that it's a late model airplane, but a little lady bought it 20 years ago, and she flies it really hard on weekends. <laughs> but um, the Navy still uses the same T-34 with the turboprop, um, the, I say Allison, not the Allison, the Pratt & Whitney uh, PT-6 engine. So it has served the military very well, and now it's finally being replaced with the J-PATS and jet training. Uh, where are you based out of? I'm based in Minneapolis with my airline job, but my airplane and myself, I'm, I live in California, and uh, my crew tri travels all over the United States with my rig, and I follow with my airplane, so we're very busy in the summer. Uh, t in tomorrow's performance, um, will you be uh, using your pyrotechnics? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very patriotic routine, a lot different than what you see with Sean Tucker, who is power aerobatics. This is more of a graceful uh, routine done with uh, maneuvers that the T-34 really wasn't designed to put on air shows. It's, 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 I call it a hog, but it's a nice hog. Hardly people would like that, yeah, I don't think of it. Yeah, they would. Huh? But, um, it's a very patriotic routine. Um, it comes back to my years of when I was an exchange student back in high school. I came back, uh, I was 16 years old from Chile after a year and was so glad to live in our United States of America. So it really comes from the heart. So uh, it's flown to music, choreographed to music. And uh, I know Lee Greenwood is part of your, uh, your routine. Mm -hmm. Uh, it must be a real privilege to get to fly this airplane with him singing that song. Yeah, I, he's met me and knows what we're doing. And my mom, who's standing right over, still is hoping that someday he'll sing. She was telling him at one of our meetings with him that, I want you to sing when she's flying. So he, he loves flying and aviation to begin with. So he's very honored that, uh, that, um, that I'm flying to his song. And I have been since 85 when he first wrote the song. Uh.